get when you combine the adventure sports of whitewater rafting and skydiving. Well, how about jump and raft? And for the two main men attempting to do just that today, it's called an adrenaline rush. Corey Skull has our story. How long have you been doing this? Uh, all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Carpenter from Skydive New England has been jumping from planes for 18 years. Um, when I was in college, I wanted a, something a little different, you know, so my buddy talked me into going and jumping out of the plane, and I've been doing it ever since. Two years ago, Carpenter and his friend Joe Christopher from Three Rivers teamed up to take two things they loved, skydiving and whitewater rafting, and combine them in one, founding Jump and Raft, the ultimate adventure. And each year, they mark the occasion. We have a, a Jump and Raft site, so people go whitewater rafting and skydiving all in the same sort of weekend. So we decided, since it's called Jump and Raft, we might as well try to jump into that. So Carpenter marked the one-year anniversary of Jump Raft by attempting to skydive and land on a raft, but he didn't quite make it. Uh, I hit the raft, I just didn't stay in it. <laughs> <laughs> this year they're back to try it again, and they've added another jumper to the mix, 20-year skydiving vet Scott Jaslix. They told me to try and hit the raft, so we'll go from there. <laughs> so the pair packed up their chutes, and Christopher took his place on the water with the rafts and dozens of helping hands just to be on the safe side. The divers made their descents, with Carpenter coming in first. Jazlix followed suit at a slightly slower speed. The problem was we have a little bit of a tailwind, so you can't slow the parachute down. So. Uh, I tried to put my feet in the water to slow down a little bit and blind it myself and land in the water. <laughs> uh, I chose the wrong boat, you know. I went for the boat with the girls. I couldn't <laughs> <laughs> What does this mean? You have to do it again? Yeah, i got to do it again next year. We'll do it once a year until I get it right. <laughs> or if I get too old and can't do it anymore. Yeah, now it's a quest. <laughs> Corey Skull, WABI TV 5 News on the Penobscot. Second guy was pretty close there, though. Yeah. yeah. But that's quite the combination. You don't have to put them together. Why not? We, we ought to try that next summer. <laughs> yeah. Wait until you delivered. And, I've, you know. I've done whitewater rafting, and I think I've lost my nerve for skydiving. Had enough there, yeah. huh? All right. Well, that is the news at this hour. We thank you for joining us. I'm Craig Colson. And I'm Sharon Pelletier. Good night from WABI TV 5 News. This is the place to be. Skydive New England. Whether you're a first-time jumper or an experienced skydiver, you'll love our fun and friendly atmosphere, our state-of-the-art equipment, and incredible nightlife. Skydive New England is combined with Three Rivers, the home of serious fun, to offer the experience of a lifetime. You can skydive from 12,000 feet and raft the Class 5 Penobscot all in the same day. Nobody else can offer you this kind of fun and adventure. Skydive New England at Three Rivers. Get the details at jumpandraft.com.